All right, let's talk about this play that was, you know, this is going to get talked about a bit. It's a third down and nine, six minutes and 23 seconds left. Both teams have all three timeouts, so it's not like if the Bengals get this, they can, like, run out the clock or anything, but you're in a better situation. You're now all the way in Rams territory if you get the first down. You can kill another two minutes or all of their timeouts, whatever the Rams choose. You're one first down away from being able to kick a field goal and going up a clean seven points, which, as knowing what we know now, would have certainly made a difference. And right when this play begins, you see that Tyler Boyd gets open. Burrow hits Tyler Boyd perfectly but knowing what we know now, Boyd is going to drop this football. That's not really what I'm questioning here. My question is, would Boyd have actually gotten the first down on this play? Because I think a lot of people are talking about it as if, oh man, what a what a tough drop from Tyler Boyd. You know, uh, we talked about in the podcast, the parallels between this and the Wes Welker situation, you know, back uh, when he had a, that one was a tough tougher catch than this one was, I think, but still one he could have caught that could have, you know, helped them win the game. And right here, it looks like it's it's got a chance, you know? You have a defensive back who's about to make a tackle, but maybe Boyd can make the cut and get over the middle and get past the first down marker. That defensive back is cornerback David Long Jr., who had a few key plays in this one. So he's running in to make a tackle, and this is why Tyler Boyd looks away from the football is because he's trying to make sure he gets the first down. Gaining eight yards here doesn't do you as much as gaining nine does. You also look at the way David Long wrapped up. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, this is a really tough one, and it certainly doesn't seem obvious to me that it would have been a first down because kind of when he gets wrapped up, he's still about a yard and a half short. Now, of course, another aspect of this is Boyd might have kind of laid off a little bit once he dropped it, because who cares at that point? You know, you know, no point in trying to get to the first down marker when you don't have the football. But maybe that, uh, you know, was the difference there. It's possible, but I don't know. I, I kind of lean towards when I watch it, kind of lean towards he probably would have gotten stopped short about a yard by about a yard. And then does Zach Taylor go for it again? Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. But it's not quite as simple as Boyd just screwed up. But that's what I think, uh, and so I made a video about it and wanted to get your thoughts on it. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.